your third eye chakra. So your third eye is here, between your eyebrows, between the eyebrows. What does it represent? It's the eye where you truly can see. So we see from these eyes, we see the outer beauty, right? But we don't see mostly the wisdom. With this third eye, we see wisdom. So we can see inside the people and we can see the essence of the other being. When we only look with those two eyes, we get tired, depressed, at one point because there's nothing else to see then there's this outer reflection and that's it and at one point it gets boring because then you don't want to be with that anymore because you're not seeing anything but that when you look with the third eye and you look inside a person there's infinite possibilities there's infinite ways to see things worlds you can go into trance together, you can go deeper together in sexuality, you can move mountains together, be creative together, and it never stops, it's never ending. This is why the other part, the marriages get broken, because they get distracted, 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 go away, being in the condition and not seeing fully the other person. I have it myself, everyone has it, they get triggered, something old gets hit, and then you get that separation. The ways to clear those things between the people is to look at it, knowing it's not the person, it's just a mirror, it's reflecting something of me. So it's reflecting beauty, but it's also reflecting the condition you still have, where you feel like ooh, pissed off about or something. When you look with the third eye, it's, there's nothing. There's just only beauty. It's ongoing essence. It's ongoing wisdom that comes from the third eye. Those projections are from the astral world. So in the astral world, we have like the same bodies like this, but then in the astral, in uh, space, in the universe, and there everything is already done. So everything that's produced here, the cities, the people, uh, everything is already also in the astral world. So there's also a projection, there, but there's also the wisdom. The wisdom that's in the higher frequencies. They know about how to live a harmonious life, always. When those channels fall into each other, there's harmony and there's potential coming out. And it's moving like a flower, creative, this creative energy flow that's constantly there. But we've got blocked in our body parts and then also the third eye isn't working anymore and we get all oh, these sad eyes depressed eyes we see the world from depression just try to like maybe you also can tap on it but also to do meditation and sit with it and then get like really steady and still and start to meditate within the third eye. And when you meditate in the third eye, you will see worlds opening up. Mostly there are blocks in that part. Why are there blocks? Because of the bigger picture and you don't want to see how immense, big you are, fast you are, that you are the universe, that you are only love you are only love but then you go back to your condition that's in there if you keep meditating on your third eye you also start to heal heal your pineal gland that's inside of the head heal your pituitary gland 
it's behind, that is fully connected with that part with your third eye and you will see that slowly you start to see the world differently but the mind is very strong right the brain is like really pushing it backwards no it doesn't want to do that because it wants to survive being in survival but we're learning in this evolution now to lose that survival part and go into pure wisdom pure love of course we have all these particles from all our lives also from the past from the past uh, people you were with grandparents all the way back and they lived in survival but some of them had also an open eye else you don't have that here and I suggest to really meditate on the third eye because you will see visions, uh, you will see your future instead of going in loops backwards. That's the future you have. So you can change your perspective from the past into the future and then build. What kind of future do you like? How does it look? And of course, everything is already here in the universe. Everything is already made. So all these futuristic cars and stuff like it, it was already there. You see that, for example, in films, science fiction films, <coughs> it's just uh, like really slowly walking behind it. But it was already manifested by someone. This, the energy lines and everything, that's already existed five million years ago but we 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 clocked up by contraction by everything that happened and now we come to this age to release that and make it different we are opening up more and when you do the online course you will notice how fast it goes how fast it opens up and we help each other opening up those channels and believe that there's something more there's freedom inside of us and with that freedom we become the vessels for love because the love can come through us and the better the world is the better higher vibration higher vibration the world has so this is a little bit about the third eye and we have more chakras. I will come back to that in all the other videos. But every chakra has its own meaning and its own purpose. And this is what we are learning inside of the Kundalini course. Lots of love. Bye bye.